Ada the flying witch. Magic card, magic card, turn around, bend your legs and touch the ground. The magic card spun on its bony legs and replied, "I can dance, I can see." Hi friends, welcome back to Fian Telling channel with me, Miss Alfie. And do you still remember what book that I'm going to read you? This book, yes. This is Osborne Illustrated Stories from Around the World. When remember what I'm promised chapter per chapter, and today the chapter is the Baba Yaba and the Flying Witch. A story from Russia, retold by Susanna Davidson and illustrated by Sarah Roho. Let's read together. Osborne Illustrated Stories from Around the World Chapter Baba Yaga, the Flying Witch Once upon a time, there were in a far-off land A little girl named Tasha lived with her father on the edge of a forest Her mother had died when Tasha was very young before she died, she gave her daughter a tiny doll. Keep her safe in a your in your pocket, she said. There's no other doll like her in the world. If you are in danger, wait until you are alone. Then give the doll food and water. She will help you. A few years later, Tasha's father married again. A new wife for me and a new mother for Tasha, he thought. But his new wife had other ideas. She waited until Tasha's father had to go on a long, long journey. Then she called, she called for Tasha. I want you to go to Baba Yaga's hut in the forest, she cued. Ask her for a needle and a thread. Off you go! But Baba Yaga is a witch. Tasha sat on a doorstep and took her doll from her pocket. She gave her little piece of, a, of bread and a sip of water. The little doll ate, the little doll drank, then her eyes lit up like fireflies, her arms moved, and so did her legs. She was alive! Little doll, little doll, help, said Tasha. Stepmother is sending me to the witch hut. She gobbles up children as if they were, as if they were chickens. What shall I do? Do not fear, said the little doll. I will protect you. I may be small, but I am powerful. Take some bread for Baba Yaga's doll and some ham for Baba Yaga's cat. So Tasha packed the ham and bread and set out through the deep dark forest. Soon, a wild wind began to blow. The trees creaked, their branches groaned. Tasha looked up and saw Baba Yaga zooming through the forest in a flying pot. She pushed herself along with a wooden spoon and wiped away her tracks with a long wooden broom. Tasha followed her to a strange little hut. It trilled around on chicken's leg and winked at Tasha with its window-like eyes. Baba Yaga stood in front of her heart and sang, Magic heart! Magic heart! Turn around! Bend your legs and touch the ground! 
The magic heart spun on its bony legs and replied, "I can dance. I can see. A little girl in front of me." Ha ha ha! cried Baba Yaga, turning on Tasha. What have we here? But 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 please," said Tasha. M "My stepmother sent me for a needle and thread." Baba Yaga smiled a dreadful smile. Her mouth was full of iron teeth. Her hair was greasy. Her hands were warty. Her nose reached down past her chin. I can find you a needle and thread," quoth Baba Yaga. "But first, you must sweep my hut." She turned around and called her, her maid. Make me a nice big fire, she ordered. I'm going to eat that little girl for lunch. <laughs> She'll taste delicious. But Tasha had overheard Baba Yaga talking to her maid. Inside hut, she began to sob. <gasps> I don't want to be eaten," she cried. "Then give me that ham," said a skinny black cat, "and I'll help you. Here, hit it all. Thank you. Now, run away as fast as you can," purred the cat. "Baba Yaga will soon be after you in her flying pot. But first, take this." Thank you. The cat pointed its paw to a golden comb and mirror lying on the floor. When you hear Baba Yaga coming, throw down this magic mirror. It told her. If she keeps on coming, throw down the magic comb. Tasha took the mirror and comb and ran outside. Where Baba Yaga's big black dog was waiting, <laughs> it snarled, it growled, it ran up to Tasha and showed its sharp teeth. <laughs> and Tasha threw it the bread. The dog sn sniffed the bread eagerly. <gasps> Keep running! It barked. Keep running! <laughs> <laughs> Baba came back. Came Baba Yaga. Are you sweeping, little girl? She croaked, her belly rumbling with excitement. Yes, I'm sweeping. Hissed the cat. Baba Yaga leaped into her hut. Where's the girl? She cried up. She screamed at her cat. Why did you help her? I've served you for a long time, said the cat. But you've never given me food. The girl gave me a ham to eat. In a fury, Baba Yaga raced out to her dog. You let her go. Why did you stop her? She shouted. Well, I served you for a long time," said the dog. "Well, well, but you never given me food. That girl gave me a bread to eat." Ah! Baba Yaga gnashed her iron teeth. She didn't wait a moment longer, but jumped into her pot. She pushed off with her wooden spoon, and she zoomed into the air, sweeping away her tracks with her long wooden broom. Tum 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 went the spoon, swish 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 went the broom. Baba Yaga's coming! cried the little girl, the little dog. Tasha threw down the mirror. It touched the ground and exploded into a wide rushing river. Whoosh! Curses! 
cried Baba Yaga. She bent her bony body and drank, and drank, and drank. <laughs> she gurgled and guzzled until there wasn't a drop of water left. Then, once again, Tasha heard the thumping spoon and the swishing broom. Baba Yaga's coming, cried the little dog. So Tasha threw down the comb. A huge mountain sprang up her behind her. Curses! cried Baba Yaga. Then she began to chew through the mountain. But her iron teeth were rusty from drinking the wild rushing river. One by one, her iron teeth snapped. Cried Baba Yaga. I'll have to go back. No little girl for lunch today. With a thump, 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 and a swish, 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 Baba Yaga sped back to her magic hut. Tasha didn't stop running until she reached home. Her father rushed out to meet her. Where have you been? He asked. Stepmother sent me to Baba Yaga's hut, kept Stasha, and the witch tried to eat me. Then it's time for your stepmother left, said her father, and he threw her out of the house. She was never seen again. The end. Thank you for reading together with me. Osborne illustrated stories from around the world. I'll see you for the next chapter. Bye. That's it guys for today's uh, chapter, Baba Yaba the Flying Witch. I hope you like the story. And if you like the video, please put your thumbs up, uh, subscribe and hit that ring red button for the notification every time I post a new video. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.